underlining a few of the spots that we're going to go and visit. The main entrance, the men's grill and lounge, formal dining room, Spanish tea court, grand ballroom, and of course the men's swimming pool. Now, knowing that this was originally a Shriners building and that Shriners are Freemasons, it makes sense that these exterior reliefs are actually working together. There's three of them. There's a south side one, a west side one, and a north side one. All together, they tell you the story of the building of a building. And they have both Egyptian and Mesopotamian inspiration, which we'll go through. They also now, walking up one more flight of stairs, this is this beautiful barrel vaulted elevator bank that they restored, again, painstakingly, um, that leads us into what was the main lounge. Now you can see in that picture on the left, they have stencil work that they could then recreate. They used only paint colors that would have been available from that particular paint company's manufacturers in order to recreate these colors. So it's just amazing the attention to detail. Now, now if you can kind of imagine, we've just come from the Spanish tea court, that's on the right side, and we're looking back at the Spanish tea court. We've moved into 17th and 18th century Italy where we're getting things like Carpaccio paintings and the Baroque style. You can see the Baroque style and all those cherubs and swirls on the ceiling, uh, which again were restored by Lido Lippi. And then the murals themselves, I mean, those were done in the 1920s and yet they look like something out of the 18th century like you see over on the left. Um, but a couple of my favorite things in here are the original Spanish majolica tiling that you can see on the left, that beautiful kind of tin glaze, white background with those bright colors, um, which in itself is kind of a Hispano-Moorish uh, influence going on there. And then on the right, those gorgeous um, fish scale windows, which are original. Now, if you look out those fish scale windows, you will be looking right over at the Tribune Tower. Here's a picture that you might have seen of the top of this building at some point. And this is actually a picture from that 1930 Scimitar yearbook. And you see down at the bottom, it says, Count Dr. Eckner and his Zeppelin visit our club by air, which really makes it sound like they docked there, right? And you're gonna hear tour guides explaining all the time, oh yeah, that was built as a mooring mast for blimps because back in the day, people would hark their blimps there. There is not one instance in history in the entire world where a blimp moored to a skyscraper in the middle of a city. That is not safe. You don't have to have ever ridden in a blimp to know that, okay? What this actually was, was in 1929, beyond where those people were just standing, and as you can tell, the John Hancock Center in the distance, over on the right is the lake, but I much prefer the view looking south, which is this way. 